All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. Today it's a one vs one on Road to Kharkov between our yellow OKW player, Paul AD. And on the bottom we have our red British Forces player, Captain G-Man. And this is a live game. I'm casting it as it is being played. And Storm Pioneers moving on out to that first territory point with a Kubelwagen on the way for the OKW and a Vickers on the way for the British forces. Storm Pioneer is going to be moving forward and perhaps going to the munitions point or grabbing this point first here, the cutoff point, which should probably be a good idea. And the Kubo Wagon all the way back there, capturing in the back and another Storm Pioneer on the way for Paul. And down at the bottom here, infantry moving forward, already captured the point right in front of the base. And now going to capture the next one. Where is that Vickers at? All the way back at base, still running on up front. And now moving over to the other territory point. And the Storm Pioneer is looking for some trouble in the center. And perhaps going to be trying to move down here, grab this territory point, and try to cut off his opponent, perhaps... From this side here, not that his opponent has anything over there anyway. The Vickers inside the house now on Overwatch while the infantry section captures the victory point here. And the Kubelwagen got the victory point. And it's moving on out and may take down the clothesline there. Somebody's, somebody's clothes were drying. Now they're going to get all dirty. And because that's what they're worried about in a time of war is their dirty clothes. Not their house being bombed. Or possible death. They're dirty clothes. Volkswagen, or Volksgrenadier on the way, but that is technically a Volkswagen Kubelwagen. The Volksgrenadier is on the way. And infantry in the center victory point now. The British forces, the only one with a victory point so far. At 492 for the OKW, 500 for the British forces. And more infantry down at the bottom here, capturing, and another Vickers on the way. So two infantry sections, two Vickers. Machine gun crew awaiting orders. And Kugelwagen right into the face of these infantry here. And the Storm Pioneer is going to come around the other side, going to force these out of here in a quick hurry. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. And they do not retreat, which is odd enough. I would like to see them retreating. As they're not in a very good situation, very, very low health, trying to lure them over to that Vickers, and they did momentarily, but didn't suppress those troops. And I'm very surprised they got away with the, the men that they did, as they're so low, if they would have stayed there any longer, would have lost men very, very quickly. And infantry section behind. Excellent cover here. Storm Pioneers say, are going to say, screw that, and go the other way, as they would lose that fight in a pretty fast manner. And Vickers going to come around the side here. The Storm Pioneers could flank that while it's up. And I'm going to place it down there on the ground. Kubowagon capturing the munitions point. Meanwhile, Storm Pioneers going to come around the other side. Going to try and get inside the house here, but that's not going to help them all that much. Three windows on this side for the Kubowagon. Only one on this side for the Storm Pioneers. So going to be losing health here pretty fast for the infantry section. Now the Vickers is going to set up. That's going to force the Kubowagon out of there. And the infantry bail down to two men. Storm Pioneers could get inside the house, use that for cover against that Vickers there. We're losing a capture point. Too close. That was too close. And it looks like the Volksgrenadier is inside the house. And I think only one can fire out of the window there on that side. The other two can't really quite fire. Or rather, the other three. So the Volksgrenadier squad going to lose men here pretty quick to that Vickers as it has a pretty good position there, even though it's out in the open, only one can fire out of that house in that direction. The Storm Pioneers are suppressed, trying to battle off some of these infantry sections. And Vickers setting up. Gonna further suppress those troops and forces them out of there. And now the cutoff point here being taken away by the OKW and the other fuel points are now both fuel points for the OKW. 33 fuel income to 13. British forces in a little bit of trouble here. 
and did get a mechanized regiment headquarters, so I'd expect a Inzer 2 out shortly. Yeah, I'm going to make some sandbags here. A very interesting place to make these sandbags. In the middle of the road here. So we'll see how those work out for him. Assembly complete. Get fire on that infantry. And gonna finish off these ones as well. And Kugelwagen fighting it out with the infantry. They will capture that zone, but will be forced away shortly thereafter. And Captain G Man, really not much of a Enemy retreater. Which I suppose is a points. noble trait, but uh, losing men in the process of that, he could have just retreated right from that point and possibly kept that other man in that squad and not had to replace it. Ready. Good and ready. Nearly enough for a Panzer II, and now it just has enough. And here comes the Panzer II now. And we'll be on the way shortly. And some storm pioneers inside the building here. I'm going to try and stop those royal engineers from getting any closer. But I think they were going after that fuel point. But now I'm going to have to go a different direction. And infantry and royal engineers going to flank the rear side of these Volksgrenadiers. And forces them out of there with just three men in the squad. Going to use the wall here for some cover. But it looks like he's going to keep going and get in the house for now. Stern Pinder is going to take back the victory point on the right side. In the center, the British forces are taking the center victory point. But the OKW will have two. British forces will have one shortly. For now, they do have one one as this got neutralized and forced those Stern Pioneers out of there with that Vickers. And now here comes the Panzer II. Going to be a lot of trouble for the British forces as they have really no way to deal with it at the moment. They can either get Piet to deal with it or they need a six pounder as he really doesn't have much fuel income at all so no hopes of a tank coming anytime soon and we'll check his Damned enemies trying to take real quick here and he got the bovers in placement so he does not have uh doesn't have the armored car and won't be able to make that anytime soon answer two Forces the Vickers out of there, loses the Vickers, and not going to be good for our British forces now, who really could use a six-pounder, and it's getting the weapon racks, though, for Piet's, and that will be ready soon, so we'll see if those can keep him in the game or not. Now the Panzer II going over to the Vickers inside the building, and looks like he's doing more damage to the building than the actual squad. Point is being and now we have some, uh, looks like Bren guns on these troops here, and I'm not sure if that was the best idea, although Bren's are pretty awesome, but he really needs uh, an ability to take out this Panzer II, and that would be the Piet, which would do exceptional damage against the Panzer II since it's so lightly armored, so not a very good idea. Lesson learned, and now no way to deal with the Panzer II still. And for the price of that one Bren and the remaining munitions that he had, he probably could have gotten two Piets, uh, which would be enough to take out this Panzer II. Now that he knows that there's no Piet at all in this squad, he's able to just sit there, really, and just hammer away on those troops. Royal Engineers trying to capture the munitions point. And that is not going to happen. They're going to have to pack up and run on home as well. And now just two infantry squads, one Royal Engineer, which may not last through the day. And a six-pounder now on the way to try and deal with that uh, Panzer II. And now, mighty the Piet isn't the greatest anti-tank gun or launcher or what have you in the game. But it would certainly do the trick at, at least shooing away the Panzer II. Another Panzer II is on the way. Piet there hits that Panzer II, does a huge chunk of damage, and as you can see, that Piet was needed much, much earlier. And there goes another Piet launch, and misses the front end there, but the six-pounder hit, 
And now down to a sliver of health on that Panzer II, but has another Panzer II to simply replace that one. And is there going to be another Piet? I'd like to see another Piet, at least on another squad. Uh, perhaps one will do, and the six-pounder, but we'll have to see about that. And Paul's army pretty low. Just two Volksgrenadiers, two Stern Pioneers, but just two uh, Panzer IIs as, as well in that Kubelwagen. But, so a sort of a low point, low army game we got going on here. Um, and just more of a tactical game, if you will. Both sides pretty low. And the British force is mostly low because of the fact of Paul playing fairly well this game with that Panzer II, capturing both of those fuel points. Still has both of the fuel points as well. And the Piet having a hard time hitting there. And another miss from the Piet at close range. And where is that six pounder? Needs to be set up on that Panzer II. Another Panzer II here gonna be moving in and gonna get hit by that six pounder there. Takes a shot, but uh, can just move around it now. And that shouldn't be too big of a deal at all. Now the Panzer II inside the base, and this looks like it may be GG here, as there's really nothing to save these troops. They're gonna have to reinforce as fast as possible, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. And there goes one man, and there goes another squad. So that is pretty much it for the British forces. So a very interesting game, sort of a Blitzkrieg style game. A very quick uh, fuel grab for Paul there on both fuels. And he had them, I think, the entire game for the most part. And, uh, the, and that gave him two Panzer IIs. He got out that first Panzer II, and it was so successful that he got out another one. And there was a third one coming, and I think that's just like a, a manor Panzer II there to just to, uh, put the nail on the coffin, if you will, because there was just that one six-pounder, and it's really not enough for this Panzer II. I would like to see a Piet earlier instead of that Bren gun. I think that Bren was a big mistake and didn't really help him. I think he could have gotten, see, for the Bren gun, he had six, had to pay 60 for that, and uh, he probably had an additional 20 munitions left over after buying that Bren, so he could probably bought two Piets for the price of that Bren gun and just 20 more munitions, and that those double Piets would have certainly helped against this Panzer II, maybe even destroyed it along with the help of that six-pounder. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I will see you guys next time.